Due to the relaxing nature of this hypnosis program, do not drive, operate heavy machinery, or engage in any activity that requires conscious thinking while listening to it. NLP is a unique model of how people learn, motivate themselves, and change their behavior to achieve excellence in any endeavor. NLP is an integration of several disciplines, including neurology, psychology, linguistics, and systems theory. The components of the term neurolinguistic programming describe best what this little known science encompasses. Neuro, because all of our experiences, both conscious and subconscious, are derived through and from our senses and central nervous system. Linguistic, because our mental processes are coded, organized, given meaning, and transformed through language. And programming, because people interact as a system in which experience and communication are composed of sequences of patterns or programs. In essence, NLP processes teach you how to use your brain more effectively and to teach skills that promote positive change that generate new possibilities and opportunities. The Swish Pattern NLP technique assists with changing patterns of behavior in a problem situation so that you can learn how to act in a desired manner. In problem situations, there is usually an undesirable response or reaction to the situation. The swish pattern technique allows you to recognize this trigger or cue for the undesirable response, so that you can learn how to replace it with a new image. An empowering, calming, confident image that assists you in reaching your desired outcome. As we've discussed in previous episodes, hypnosis and NLP can help to influence the appropriate brainwave activity levels that influence neuroplasticity. And by working to change the imagery associated with the old pattern of behavior, you can begin to develop a new pattern of behavior, a new response, a new reaction to the situation that will be more appropriate and helpful. Using the swish pattern technique, first we use mindfulness to become aware of the pattern of behavior that an individual would like to change. Then we find the trigger or the cue that causes that pattern of behavior and become aware of all of the internal imagery that is associated with that behavior. Then, we work at developing a new image, a new response or reaction to the situation, and develop an appropriate and helpful image that will support this. Then, we practice the swish pattern, which is replacing the old image with the new image. And we do this multiple times as repetition assists with anchoring the change within the mind and the body. The next step is to do what is known as an ecological check. And an ecological check is making sure that this change feels congruent to all parts of you. And the final step is something called future pacing. This is taking the change out into the future and visualizing yourself using this in future times and places. As you go about your day-to-day -day life, when the problem situation arises, it's about being able to bring this knowledge in and change the image so that you change the reaction, the response, and the outcome. 
with repeated use, eventually this entire process becomes automatic as the subconscious mind learns this new response and new reaction to the situation. Are you ready to change a pattern of behavior with the swish pattern technique? Great, then let's begin. Do not listen to this program while driving, operating heavy machinery, or engaging in any activity that requires conscious thinking. So find a place where you can relax and let go for this next little while. Make sure that your body is in the most comfortable position for you. Rearrange your arms and legs so that they are comfortable. And when you're ready, close your eyes and begin to focus on your breathing. Feeling the coolness as you breathe in. Feeling the warmth as you breathe out. Just relaxing the muscles in your eyelids. Allowing every muscle in your eyelids to just relax. And when you've relaxed, all of those muscles in your eyelids that same quality of relaxation that you want to have in every muscle of your body. So set that intention now and allow that relaxation in your eyelids to move through you. Flowing through your body as if it were waves and ripples of relaxation flowing from your eyelids. The top of your head and through your body all the way down to the tips of your toes. It's almost like dropping a pebble into a pool of water and those waves and ripples move along the surface, touching the shore. And if any part of your body is carrying tension, or if there are thoughts that are present, or concerns, or worries. Simply make whatever adjustments are necessary. Any physical or mental adjustments that will allow you to relax and let go. so that you find yourself becoming more and more relaxed, more and more at ease with each moment. Good. I'm going to count from 10 all the way down to one. And as I count from 10 to 1, with every descending number, allow yourself to become more and more relaxed, more and more at ease.
starting now at 10. Nine, relaxing more and more. Eight. Seven. Six, letting go now. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Feeling fully relaxed, feeling safe and secure. and feeling very good now. In the relaxed, focused state of awareness that you're in now, your mind is open, open to this positive work that you're about to do. Begin by imagining yourself in your very own private movie theater, simply sitting in a seat in the audience of this movie theater. And on the screen in this movie theater is a movie that's playing. It is a movie of an unwanted behavior Simply becoming aware of that pattern and watching this movie. This pattern that is causing difficulty. Maybe you'd like to eat better or become more motivated. Perhaps you wish to become more social or more physically active. Simply become aware of the exact pattern of behavior that you would like to change. And imagine on the movie screen the image of the current state. Notice how it looks, how it feels maybe there are emotions attached to this image, or perhaps sounds. Good. Now notice the triggers. What triggers this state? That's right. Simply becoming aware of that now. Identifying the trigger for this state. Identifying the trigger that causes this reaction, this unwanted behavior. There is always a cue that triggers the automatic response. Now imagine that you could take this image, that you could shrink it down and put it in the left-hand corner of the movie screen so that it's simply a very tiny little image in the very lower hand left corner of the movie screen. Now. On the screen, begin to imagine being able to develop a new response or a new reaction to the situation. 
and imagine an appropriate and helpful image to support this. Your desired outcome. Notice how that looks, how that feels. All that matters is that this is the response that you wish to have in this situation. Make the picture as big and as bright as you can. Make it colorful and clear. That's right. And notice the feeling and emotion that is attached to this image. And make that feeling as strong as you can. That's right. Notice the positive and beneficial outcomes as a result of using this new pattern of behavior. That's right. Just take a few moments and enjoy this wonderful image. Reacting in this situation exactly as you'd like to. Now take this image and all of the positive emotion, all of this wonderful imagery, and begin to shrink it down, making it very small and placing it in the bottom right hand corner of the movie screen. In a moment, we're going to begin the swish pattern, changing these images, changing the old image for the new image. Every time that you hear this sound. The old image will shrink down into the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and the new image in the lower right-hand corner of the screen will spring up, becoming large. And as you see the new image, all of those amazing feelings and all of the wonderful imagery and sounds will return to you. This is the process of retraining the brain, of showing it a new response, the new desired response. And the more that you practice this, eventually it will become automatic. So take a deep breath. And imagine that image in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, the old image, coming up and taking up the full screen, noticing all of the emotion and all of the imagery that is associated with that old image. Good. Now notice the cue or the trigger that causes this. And when you hear the sound, switch the image. Good, now bringing up that image on the right-hand side and shrinking down the image on the left-hand side so that the new image becomes strong, bright, clear, noticing all of the emotions associated with this new image. Noticing how good that it feels and letting that good feeling flow through you. Good. Let's do this one more time. Shrink this positive image down to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen 
and bring the old image on the left-hand corner of the screen up so that it becomes big. Becoming aware of the cue, the trigger that causes this. And as you hear the sound, bring the new image up. Good, now bringing that positive image up from the right lower hand corner of the screen, really associating with all of the good feelings associated with this image. All of the good thoughts, all of the good feelings. That's right, just seeing yourself respond in this new way. Good. Now we're going to do this one more time. Shrinking this image down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and the old image at the left hand corner of the screen, enlarging that and making it big again. Now becoming aware of the trigger or the cue for that pattern. And as you hear the sound, bring the image on the right back up again. Good, shrinking the image on the left so that it becomes small, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny. And bringing up the image on the right so that it becomes very strong, very clear, fully associating with that new response. And all of the wonderful feelings and emotions that go along with that. Good. It looks good, doesn't it? That image. That new response. Just check in with all parts of you and make sure that this new response feels all right with all parts of you. If, for whatever reason, this new response doesn't feel all right with you, you may need to go back and redo this exercise so that you can reevaluate a different response that will be appropriate. If this does feel right to you, then the next step is to take this new response out into the future. So imagine now moving out into the future, taking this new response with you. And imagine future times and places where you wish to experience this new response. And imagine yourself using that new response in those situations. That's right, noticing how good it feels, how good you look. Make it as real as you can in your mind. Really allow the subconscious mind to be imprinted with this new response and this new information. So that now, whenever that trigger happens, you can find yourself remembering this image and responding in this entirely new way. Great. Now you can bring this positive image with you back to the present moment. Bringing it back to the here and the now. And in a few moments, I'm going to count from one to 10. As I count from one to 10, you will emerge from relaxation. When I reach the count of 10, you'll open your eyes. You'll be back in the room, back in the here and the now feeling fully refreshed in every way and feeling better than you have in a long, long time. Starting now at one, emerging from relaxation. Two, coming up now, three, four, emerging from relaxation, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, eyes wide open. Back in the room, back in the here and the now, fully awake and fully refreshed in every way, feeling better than you have in a long, long time. Practice using this technique on a daily basis. The more that you use the swish pattern technique, eventually the 
new processes become automatic. Remember that it takes 21 days to make a new pattern of behavior within the subconscious mind. So I recommend practicing with this process over the course of the next 21 days. When it comes to making changes in behaviors, it's important to recognize that you are learning and growing. So remember to be gentle with yourself. <laughs>